sense. Calling 911 may seem like common sense during an emergency and that clear cut communication is what starts the process of getting first responders on scene, but sometimes there's a barrier. Laura Sandlin joined us in studio live. Laura, when the call taker and the caller aren't speaking the same language, there are accommodations. Dan, Amanda, that's right. Across America, emergency services call takers use a variety of tools. In our communities, they use translators, so anyone can call and get the help that they need. So this has been in use since 2005. Uh, this year already we've had nearly 700 calls on that line um, where either our troopers on the roadside have used it or our dispatchers. According to Sergeant Ryan Papura, the Ohio State Highway Patrol has been using language line to help service callers for more than 15 years. So our dispatchers as well as our troopers on the roadway have access to the language line, which is in case somebody calls for help or we come across somebody on the road and doesn't speak English, we can, we can close that barrier between the two of us and communicate. Lucas County's 911 dispatch uses a similar service called Probio. Brian Twining, WD Director of Operations, says the translation helps both the caller and the call taker. The vendor will help us identify that language. They'll translate both for the caller and for us so the call taker is getting the right information so we can get crews out under the cir circumstances. Twining says bilingual call takers would be ideal, but it's not realistic to cover all languages. It's ranging from Spanish, which was the, the number one call, um, to Haitian Creole, Russian, um, Mandarin, Portuguese. So it can be a variety of different um, uh, languages, and that's why it would be almost or it would be virtually impossible for us to hire enough people to cover every language that comes through. However, he says the programs allow for everyone to be heard. Well, one, it gives the caller a voice. They know that they can be heard and they can get the information to us. For the call taker, it allows them to actually know what's going on, prioritize the call, and get it set up for either a police, fire, EMS, dispatch. We have a diverse community, and we represent everybody, and we, we respond to everybody in situations when they need us. So it's important for us to be able to do that for the community. Twining says over the years, the number of non-English callers has continued to climb, and he expects the trend to continue. Reporting in the newsroom, Laura Sandlin, WTOL 11.